Yeah, so there's some glitches with the questing book. I'm definitely seeing that. Um, <laughs> get a creative modifier. This is repeatable. Holy smokes. <laughs> All you have to do is get Manulin, Steel, and another star. Good to know. Um, warp stone. Um, put together the materials to make a warp stone. I can gift you a waystone to place down in your home and travel to it anytime you like. Waystones can only be renamed by their owners. Villages generate waystones by default. There's a 10 second cooldown on both the waystone and the warp stone. You cannot travel between dimensions and to activate or use a waystone, just right click it. Um, the recipe for a warp stone, I think, requires things we don't have. An emerald. And four ender pearl. Yeah, we can't make that just yet, guys. Can't make it just yet. Um, learning about gravestones. I haven't died yet, so I'm assuming I could pick one of these up once I die. So I get a diamond if I die. Upgrade your furnace. Here's what we wanted to learn about upgrading the furnace. Um, what mod is this? More furnaces. These fancy furnaces you can smelt faster or more efficiently for the same amount of fuel. Either craft them from scratch or apply an upgrade to your existing furnace. There are many different uses for these furnaces, including faster smelting, less fuel consumption, dual smelting, multi-smelting, and internal inventory. Each material provides a slightly different furnace, so experiment to find the ones that work for you. So we have a furnace. We'll pick it up. And... Stone to netherrack or stone to iron, and neither of these say what they do. Uh, let's do stone to iron. Sure. So, put you back down and apply. This gives us even more smelting abilities. Okay. Let's throw some stone in there and some charcoal in there. Can you do that? It only does one at a time. It's just got more inventory space in there. Good to know. We'll have to play with all of them. Um, what other options are there for more furnaces? More furnaces. So we've got an iron, gold, a diamond, obsidian, and netherrack. And none of these say really what they do. But um, definitely make them all so that we can see what they offer at some point. You can do the same thing with anvils. You can make them gold or diamonds in the last longer. Sweet. Chisel. That's right, folks. Step right up and trade your rusty old iron chisel in for a newer, shinier model. Take advantage of this offer today to receive any exclusive bits chisel and a felt lined bits bag too. While stocks last, <laughs> no refunds. Marble and limestone are more common in the world than they normally would be. Oh, that's good to know. Those are really common chisel blocks that people look for. So if we make a regular chisel, iron and a stick, we should be able to turn it in for a diamond one. So let's do that because we're going to need it. Woo! The Lazy Builder. Who places blocks one at a time anymore? These ones make Bob the Builder look like a chump! <laughs> Tinted glasses. <laughs> Alright. Let's get that done as well. Yeah! We get some glasses. I can't put them on because they go in an armor slot. I doubt they go in a bobble slot somewhere. They go up here. Could be. I could be cool. 
Hello! It almost covers my eyes. <laughs> I don't remember what they're used for within Bibliocraft. I don't remember. <clears throat> but we probably want to make another bag and make it our tool bag. Probably, probably. Um, so that'll have to happen too. But I think we're doing pretty good with the survival quest lines for now. Um, yep. Farming, this is where we get into agri-craft and cooking for blockheads. And then the mystical crops type of thing here. Um, the cause and solution to all the world's problems, maybe you should look into creating your own settlement. None of the newfangled colony stuff here, though. Galactic Academy, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. So yeah, this is something I'll have to learn about Village Box. Oh, here we go, we have a couple of... For the glory days of watching derpy colonists build, gather, and generally bumble around being useless, there was a beautiful little mod that allowed you to oversee a different village of misfits. Village Box uses coins as currency. These can be obtained by killing mobs with weapons, shoes, shoes rocks, and your bare fists. If you turn in 16 bronze coins, you get a coin of fortune. Ooh, yes, I want a coin of fortune. Yes, please. Now, does this have modes? It does. Okay, good. And it can go in the amulet slot. That's not an amulet slot. Yeah, it is. Okay. Woo! Now, I am unfamiliar completely with Village Box. I have never used Village Box before. So we would have to learn about it. Tutorial? Hey, that's kind of cool. All right, so we need to make an invitation, a mail and a mailbox. Um, that's helpful. So you have to create a settlement and invite people. I like I said, I'm gonna have to read about it. I don't know. Um. Hmm. Hi, Owen. Yeah, so all of these completed where they, it's because he hasn't made the quests yet. Like I said, the quests, the quest lines are pretty incomplete right now. They're kind of goofy. Um, that's okay. Not a problem. Um, yeah, see all of these are completed because they're not, there's, <laughs> yeah, oh well. I, I'm not here for the mo the quest lines, to be fair. I'm not here to play through the quest lines, um, you know, until they're all done. We can do them again. Um, I believe there's a way to completely reset the quest book and just do it. Um, so I just want to set up, I want to start building, I want to start getting some resources gathered for our simple city area where we're going to live here. We could, um, once we have a base of operations here, move off somewhere else and create a larger base. So essentially this is going to be like the hub. This is going to be where patrons can come to hang out with their simpletons as well. There is a patrons village. Also, I can't remember what the warp is, but since no patrons are allowed on the server just yet, uh, there's nothing there. There's, well, I'm in Simple City. This is the beginnings of Simple City. I think there's a couple of people. I believe your mama's nuggets is up there. I'm not sure. I think maybe Kat is actually in the patrons village because Katrin was on earlier. Did he put a sign? He did put a sign. He has a sign that says Nuggets Place. 
So, yep, Nuggets is here. And I thought I saw... Oh, who was it? There's a bunny! Someone else was moving in over there. Um, in the savannah? Who was over there? I can't remember. Let's go see if they put a sign up. It's terrible of me, because only a few people have been on the server so far today. So it's terrible of me to not even remember who was over here. And there is a sign. And this is, ah, Taylor. This is Taylor HD Gaming. Yes, so this is another simpleton. He's chosen to live underneath a very precarious looking rock formation. Very good, very good. I think that's the only people I've seen online. Let me check and see what the name of the warp is for the patron's village. Cause like I said, I think katrin has been on and I think that is what Katrin is setting up something to live. So let me look this up real quickly. Um, it's in this channel. Yes, what is the name of it? Patsville. Named Patsville. Warp Patsville. All right, so here we are in Patsville. Like I said, there's nobody really here. I don't see any chests or anything, so if Cat has set up somewhere around here, I don't know where that would be. But this is where patrons like you, if you subscribe to me, will be able to start just setting up a base of operations. Oh, here we go. We have... This is probably Cat. <laughs> be setting up, you know, where you initially get started and create a little city for yourselves if that is what you'd like to do and then you can run off and go do your own thing once you've been able to get established. You're not obligated to stay in the same area. Yep, cat. But um, it does help, you know, make us be more friendly and community-like and um, yeah, have some fun together. Because fun together is what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to hanging out with everybody. Um, as you can see, we're about 500 blocks away from each other, so that's not a bad jaunt at all. So if we just do warp, um, what was it? What was my warp? Simple city? Yeah. Okay. Simple city. And we're over here. Give me just a second. Uh, 99 Blocks wants a crash report. Um, so let's find where it's at. Crash report. Let's do that real quickly. Hold still. Patience. Um, instances, life one revival, crash reports. There we go. Loop. Okay. Back to this. We need to eat. We need to explore Pam's Harvest Craft to get better food options. Because there is a version of Spice of Life in here called the Carrot Edition. I don't know exactly what that entails. I didn't name it, Owen. <laughs> Simple Town would make sense, but uh, I didn't name it. So, yeah. It's Simple City. I know. Um... Put the uh, can we make apple juice yes and it gives me a little bit of speed to do that the apple sauce gives me a wow look at all the 
He's not kidding that he perked these up. Applesauce is easy. We just need a pot. <laughs> Let's make a pot. A pot. And apples. Applesauce. That'll do us for quite a while. Yay. Um... So what do you guys think? Should I try to do... What What would you like to see me build? Um, I'm open to your suggestions. Again, we have this little... We've got this like 9 or 12 chunk area here to build a little something. I'm considering Victorian style... Um, and let's go with American Victorian style because I know there's a lot of other places that um, have a Victorian style. Um, so it would be kind of like... There'd be an or ornate scroll work and wrought iron, and it's kind of, it usually has at least one or two bay windows. Um, uh, the materials are very varied, but um, yeah, I'm thinking Victorian, and if we do Victorian, I can add like greenhouses and outbuildings and whatnot to add flavor to this area and we could put the the house up here on this little area um that's the edge of what i've selected as my area so we could put it up high here and then have other things down below gardens and whatnot i be i'm pretty sure someone's already been to that village which is why i've not gone over there um it's, you can see in the distance over there but i can see that the farms they're still farms there might be something of interest over there. Let's go over there. Um, let's make a boat because we have to cross the water. You think I should make porcupines, Fluffy Cloud? Hi, Rocket Pants! So, there we go, we have a boat. Oh, Hermes, please don't start. You've got such a long time before it's lunchtime. Like, why should I listen to you, Mom? Alright, let's go over here. Hermes is always starving. I think he thinks that as soon as he's finished eating, he needs to continue eating. Alright, so there's a temple there, a blacksmith here. We could totally go and see if this stuff has been raided. I do see bookshelves in the library. We're gonna grab those. Do I not have an axe? I do not. So we're gonna be punching these. <laughs> you just feed your your cats once a day. Um, then I I have to ask real quick. Do you, do they free feed? As in you just put food in a bowl and they just eat it with, throughout the day. It's really all there is here, isn't there? There's light coming from over here, so I'm gonna. There's most likely. Yeah, and my cats get fed three meals a day, and they they get fed wet food. So, um, I, yeah. Well, yep, someone's been there. Okay. Villages spawn more often, is what the information said. So maybe we could go exploring for loot and uh what not um well they used to free feed i used to free feed them for sure uh and then uh maximus got um kidney disease he has kidney disease and he has um diabetes 
Um, he's currently in remission from diabetes, so that's good. I don't have to give him any insulin, but that does mean I, he has to eat a very specific diet and it's different to what the other cats eat. So, which is why it takes me a little longer to feed the cats when I go on a break. So I have to stand there and monitor and make sure that he's eating his food and no one else is eating his food. <laughs> um, so yeah, I am going to warp. Warp. Simple city. Okay. Hermes, you're not gonna die, baby. Under mini. I need more storage. Uh, and I can't sleep because the Ender mini is around, can I? Go away! <laughs> I don't want to kill you because you hurt. Um, hang on to the egg. Do I have a spot for raw eggs? I do. What a mess. My storage is a mess. And I can't sleep still, can I? Are you guys too close? Yeah. Probably. Now can I sleep? Yeah. All right. And I'm stuck in bed anyway. Okay. <laughs> up and shut that door a little bit. <laughs> well, Zoram, you're the only smart one, aren't you, Loki? I got up, and they thought I was feeding them. They ran out the door, shut the door. <laughs> Loki's just sitting there. Loki doesn't jump out until he hears the alarm. He's pretty smart. Um, He just looked at me like... What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. He's smart. Let's grab... I saw some sugar cane over here. Let's fetch that. Um, Where did I see it? On the other side of the ravine? That's pretty deep fall there. Come on, I was pretty sure I saw sugar cane around here or something. There's some. Now he wants out. Now he's like, this isn't fair. And Hermes wants in. This is so much fun. <laughs> Maybe he'll be quiet though and just like bust at the door. We'll see. All right, we got some sugar cane. We can get that growing so we have our own supply. I see you. Oh, goodness, that was a big hole. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let's grab you. White flowers are very helpful in the beginning to make a pure daisy with. Oh, you need to come down. Oh, let's plant this. That tree will need to go to, but for now. Um, I need to try to figure out why this isn't the industrial hemp isn't growing beyond 50%. Is it because it doesn't have sky access? Is that a new rule or something? All 
All right. We'll see if that improves its growth now that it can see the sky. Um, if it'll go beyond 50%. don't know we need so many things in the beginning guys so many things okay so I'm terrible at picking ticker tinkers materials um, I'd much rather you guys tell me what what's awesome for tinkers materials pretty much that's kind of what I want to know let's make a couple of um, storage drawers and do one for cobble um if the default recipe is yeah so we got one for cobble and apparently that was a quest Alamite is gone. No, this is 110. This is 110. Um, there is no Alamite, though. So this was after it was removed. Um... what's just below alamite because I'm not ready to go to the nether because I don't have a pick to harvest cobalt I need a diamond pick for that and I don't have any diamonds does that mean maybe I should like wait till I have well hang on cobalt level just requires an obsidian sharpening kit and I have a little bit of obsidian that I got from a loot bag. So if I did, um, getting steel will not be easy. Bronze, I could do bronze. I haven't seen any tin. No, I want you. I haven't seen any tin. Um, I've got copper. I have bauxite, which is aluminum. I have a little bit of nickel. So maybe we just need to go back down there with a, an iron pick and pick up some stuff. Um, see if we can find tin. Tin ore. Let's find out where it spawns. I do not see tin. So maybe bronze is not a possibility. There is no tin ore. Does that mean... See, it says bronze. But, yeah, there's no way to get bronze. Okay, so bronze is out. That seems weird. Doesn't immersive engineering need tin? Copper, bauxite, lead, silver, nickel, uranium. Apparently not. Otherwise it would have its own ore here. Okay. Um, how much copper do I have? I, I have enough copper to do a part in copper, and apparently I'm going to have to do, um, we'll do a wooden handle, a copper binding, and an iron pickaxe head. So we need to make some casts. 
which means I need gold or is it a, a can I make uh, aluminium brass? Yes. Um, aluminum and copper. How much aluminum did I grab? We'll do that instead of gold. Now lead and, or I'm sorry, iron and aluminum or iron and copper don't mix, I don't think. So, let's do that. We might need this makes a whole bunch. Let's pour this off. Yeah, we've got six ingots of aluminum in those from those two, so it triples. This is gonna take a touch longer. Um, but we'll grab one of the seared bricks that I hung on to. So that our first one that we can make is an ingot mold that's always helpful, which you can't see it, but it's there, I promise. Aluminum brass. It's, it's just a, a gen thing, a visual glitch. Um... And then I need to make a parts table. Hi, cricket buggy! Parts table, parts table. Log. And the pattern. All right. And we need some more patterns. Getting to be a night time. All right. Um, let's get some cobble to make the cast for. Where's the stencil? That's where these need to go. What am I thinking? you and you and you first tool we're gonna do wooden stick got that and then this will be made out of cobble and this will be made out of cobble because we need to be able to turn them into casts now I don't have a uh, stencil chest. I probably need to do that. Need you and an empty stencil. Alright. Oh. Will that work? Will it... Will it work? It shows up. I mean, it's not connected to... The stencil table. I'll need to rearrange this, but for now... Okay. Let's make the binding. And then... Whoops. Pickaxe head. All right, so we have iron in here, actually. Let's switch it to iron and make an iron pickaxe head. Did we have enough copper? Yep. So we'll do that next. Copper. This is really hard to do when you can't see anything. This rendering issue is really annoying. All right, so. We've got a um, pickaxe. This will give us what level? Diamond level? All right. Um, 
Uh huh. Diamond level, we need to get to cobalt level and then get to the nether. But at least diamond level will get us the redstone and stuff that's in there. We need to level it up again to obsidian level. So we need steel, night slime, pig iron. Well, we could do this actually. What What do we need for a sharpening kit? Um pencil table sharpening kit. How much obsidian was that? Remember anyone anyone where would it go? Here. Needs. Is each block of obsidian equivalent to an ingot? Why are you no poor? Is there something there? There it goes. There was an iron um, block in there. Okay, so we have that going. You want to say yes? I guess we'll be finding out together then, Fluffy Cloud. Okay. We need to make this here. Out of these. Material value three. Let's make the cast and then this is it just says one block <laughs> ah, you're not helpful yay it's making it okay so we have an obsidian sharpening kit No. It needs to be leveled up a second time. Oh wait, this needs to be done with a piece of flint. I don't know if I have flint. Can I make flint? Yes. Flint sharpening kit. No. Do I need to do that in here with the flint? I have never done this before. I've never used a sharpening kit, so... Aha! There we go. It can now do cobalt level. Fantastic! Yay! So we could actually try to go to the end, to the nether. We could try to go to the nether. Um... To get... Cobalt and Ardite. Where's my bucket? Good question. Here it is. And it's not enough for me to put that in there yet. All right. Mm. 
Let's go down here and get some obsidian. Um, so we have that. There. No. There. I have no speed on this. It's going to take a little bit. We have five upstairs, so we only need five more. Can you mix lava and water in the smell tree? Maybe? Not all packs have that ability. Hi, Nuggets! I'm already down here, so I might as well. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Up we go. Definitely can't wait to get this um, mining thing sorted out here. Um, I want to get my resources from other means. We might get into agricraft. I think that would be nice to do with the pans so that we can get multiple uh, crop drops per plant. That would be nice because that way I don't have to have giant farms. Um, and we've got the primordial crops. That'll be nice for resources. All right, let's grab the other blocks I have. Let's make um, the flint and steel. And we're just going to make this near the center so that other people can use the portal as well. So, I mean, I'm not that far from the center, but there's the warp here, so I figure I'll put it near the warp. Um, one, two, three, four, let's put it here. Why not, right? Dang it. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Great. Lit. All set. Um, I'm gonna wait to go through it though until after I fed the cats in about 10 minutes. So we're gonna get some plans here of what uh, shape my house should be. Oh, look at that. The hemp grew. The problem was it didn't have sky access. Very good. Very good. We have some hemp. 
Um, I want to carrot. Yes, carrot. So now we have that. We have another hemp seed. So that can grow. And Nuggets has joined the game! Alright. There we go there. Okay. Pentagon for house shape. No, if I do a Victorian house, it's actually going to be relatively square. Um, most Victorian houses were square because they needed to fit a certain amount per um, city block when they were building them. Um, yeah, so I'm also going to do a whole bunch of chiseling bits, I hope. Um... Oh. oh, are you doing a Victorian House 2 Nuggets? That would be kind of cool if we both did one in the same area. Yeah, that'd be neat. That would be awesome. That'd be really cool to have two people doing it. I'm going to put mine up here. Um, I'm considering lowering this um, dirt level down to this level or raising this up to meet this level in the spot. I'm probably not doing a steampunky Victorian style, so knock yourself out with that. Um, so what should I do? Raise or lower? I think I'm going to lower. Simply because the edge over this side is so steep that if I lowered it one, it'd be less steep. And then I could do almost a full chunk house. So, you know, it would be 16 at least. Yep. So we're going to have to make a bunch of shovels or at least make a tinker shovel and start clearing this dirt this way. And then having... Um, I need to do some looking online. Uh, for those of you who are new to watching me stream and watching me build, I do like to go off of reference images from, you know, Google image search. I find a couple of things I really like about a house or a build, and then I try to mimic them somewhat. So, yeah, there's, there's all sorts of things to do here to get that in pre preparation. Um, let's make a tinker shovel, just a simple one that we can easily repair. So probably stone and wood and go from there. So we need to make more, um, patterns, I think. And put them in there because we need the shovel. And then we'll just make the parts okay and then we need that all right and then we should be able to assemble the shovel we use a stick? Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I think we used to be able to just use the stick as a part instead of turning it into um, a tool rod on it, its own. There we go. Simple, cheap shovel that we can repair with cobblestone. So, yeah. I wonder if we can do in our 2x2 two two crafting. I wonder if we can do repairs that way. Let's find out. All right. So we did a little bit, 
Can we do this? No. We'll need to do it in the um, tool station. Are you going to finish Exoria? Yes. Yes, I am. This just happens to be... I usually try to do two packs um, at a time. One that's uh, more complex and one that is easier. And I have stopped doing The Simple Life 2. I just lost interest in it. Blowed it up and I'm like, ah, I don't really want to do this anymore. So this came out and this is going to replace The Simple Life 2. And then Exoria is still my main pack and it will be played... I'll probably play it... Um, so I'm just showcasing this pack this weekend um, until people can start playing on it and everything. Um, yeah, Exoria will still be my main pack. So it will show up usually on the weekends. But uh, I will make an announcement um, on Twitter and in my Discord channel about what day of the week I definitely plan on playing this pack so that if you are a subscriber um, to my Twitch channel and you want access to play on the server, you'll know what day that I'm playing as well if you want to play with me, hang out with me. I will be opening up a voice chat to hang out with me for that. Um, so you'll have that available to you once a week. Yeah, Exoria is awesome. Exoria is a really interesting pack. So, and I haven't gotten very far. <laughs> got here is a bunch of digging to do. I mean, well, I guess not a bunch. We're almost halfway done already. And I will um, do some research of what kind of house I want to build. Victorian is, you know, a huge range of styles. So I'll be looking into that. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas for a Victorian style house, you can send them to me via Twitter or on Discord. Um, information for that stuff is in my channel info down below. Master of Lucky, thank you for the follow. Ooh, a three week vacation where all you're planning is Minecraft? That is awesome! Very awesome. It's getting on night time, we're gonna have to sleep. A shovel broke, so it's perfect time to come down here and do that. Just checking to see where he ended up. Do, 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 do. tree. I don't know what trees I want to remove. I like to keep some of the trees in place. Um, just do the more natural. Right, let's head through 
this way. Get this chunk taken care of. So, um, as far as colors, my head is actually stuck on something that's like, <sighs> mm. I have a couple of ideas in mind for colors for the Victorian house. Something that's a light shade of purple would work, um, or even like a sandy, blushy color. Um, I don't want to use marble. You know, what color is the limestone in this pack? That's a good question. This color. Hmm. That is not a color I want to use either. So, let's I'm thinking. Alright, how are we going to shape this area where it's coming down from that spot? I don't want to make it square. I say that as I'm playing Minecraft, but maybe we leave that and we put our house right here. This tree I think is going to have to go. We need to make an axe. We need to make a barrel for all this dirt that I've collected. Um, oop, gone too far. Let's do that. Alright, so we've got... Dirt. We have dirt in here, we do. But here, no. Okay. Keep the flower, just in case I need it. Yay! All right, folks, it is time to take my noon break, feed the kitty cats their lunch, and get some more coffee. I will be right back for the next hour of streaming. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. 